crew in this update we are going to be tracking this very large nor'easter now to be expecting to bring major impacts with a major trend to the south than we previous thought i mean the trend is really really crazy potentially a game changer trend with this nor'easter now likely to be moving a lot more south and a lot more colder air and now, if you guys are in the Allentown area, Berks, Philly, you guys might even get some accumulating snows, even in New York. So this is great for the um, areas, but this is a very large um, nor'easter really showing its dominance of its precip. You know, like I have said in the past, this is a storm where we got the subtropical jet just completely screaming um through the east the su southern eastern so there is that pretty much low pressure as of right now um pretty much moving through here with all this precip we'll have to see if we continue to see a transition but this is a strengthening low with a lot of precip coming up in here but we got some cold air damn you can tell right here too so a lot to take place. The satellite imagery will look even different tomorrow. But we still have a lot to get underway. All right. So, um, we look at these. Don't even worry about that right now. Um, we're going to take a look at the preset on all these models and look at trends. So, we look at the zero zine. This is going to have to be a little quicker now because this is the... But we going into, okay, let's go quickly look at the hours here. GFS just came out. The Canadian came out. The Icon came out. And as of late, we've been looking at those. So by 6 hours, is 4 a.m. All right, so 4 a.m. at 6. If we look at that, this is about 4 a.m. Um, on 0Z. Zero zero. Yeah, 4 a.m. right here. We go into 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 in the morning at this point. Is there 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, still nothing really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is about 5 o'clock. There is that low pressure beginning to show its dominance right here. A lot of precip, a lot of strengthening with this, and a lot of uh, some scattered showers out of head of it um gonna be there too but this is at 5 p.m all right now let's take a look we go into six seven eight nine nine o'clock there's the low pressure right there in tennessee there's the precip 10 11 12. so potentially depending on it by pretty much the night this will start but look at that Maybe starting out some rain, but very quickly turning into some heavy snow. And already by midnight, you got a pretty nice band of heavy, wet snow really already taking place. Even in near New York now with the latest runs, a very strong low. Some snow back in here in the mountains. You have to keep in a watch now. But we continue this just very aggressive. I mean, this just becomes an all-out bomb. I mean, each hour just keeps getting more. And you're looking at by Tuesday morning, it is snowing absolutely hard in these blues. Very strong winds really starting to take place. There's that transition low of a 988 millibar. So an absolutely strong low. And you can tell this continues to just transition. We're going to have probably a few good hours of just this heavy wet snow near this axis line right here just one to three inches in hour is very likely right now but this has trended so south where heaviest totals but we continue and look that nor'easter just absolutely rocks i mean you're looking at a you're looking at a 984 983 millibars just bringing heavy snow strong winds an absolute bomb, and this just continues to rapidly 
intensify, still snowing on your Tuesday later in the morning as a millibar low pressure of like a 982 millibar. So it just absolutely crazy. I mean, looking at that, that's a 981 right there. This could be even stronger, but look, by afternoon, this is like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, still snowing, and then it moves out. But I would like to tell you the wind gust out of this is going to be a huge factor. This is going to be a blowing snow, too, potentially. Very heavy, wet snow, but the winds will be picking up into the 30s, even 40s. Backside, definitely strong. 30 to 40 miles an hour, really strong winds expected, especially close to the coast near 50 mile an hour wind gust is very likely. The total snow, and I'm even using a Kershaw that is even better for that. And look at the trend. I mean, you're looking at, I think this is a little overdone, but New York, nine inches, um, PA Eastern up to a foot, some spots seeing up to maybe closing on to 20 inches of snow. So, an absolutely bomb out nor'easter. If we look at the 18Z, look how it was a little bit more further north. Still showing a lot of snow. But then we go to the 12Z, even further north. We go into the 6Z of that morning. Didn't really have it. But you can tell the trend with the her has been really to the south. And that's going to be a very big thing. If we just look at the total snowfall and 10 1 ratios... Your max, I mean, you're looking at, this is probably way overdone, but 20 inches, closing in on two feet of snow. So a very big difference now, very likely. And the temperature's too, a lot more colder than previous thought. As this low comes, I mean, you're looking at much more colder temperatures, you know, reaching all the way down here up to 33. So a lot more of a colder solution with the HER model and going to really have to watch throughout tomorrow. Now, we take a look at another model that I've been looking at and seeing the trends too. Absolutely starting out some rain and then changing quickly to snow. Heavy snow too, just like the herd. Um, very powerful, low pressure. Goes up like a nor'easter. And, I mean, you're just at 70% at this point. But if we just look at the total snow accumulation so far and compare it to the 21z still very um still very heavy snow with the rat model showing up to about nine inches very widespread a much more southern lean route and it's still snowing don't get me wrong we look at the NAM too, absolutely crazy. I mean, much more southern, starting out with some rain and snow, changing into that heavier snows with the low so much more southern, and potentially at that perfect benchmark for a few for a foot plus. So, when you're looking at this, is just has become such a big thing. And look at the total snow now, much more narrow. But look at the max, potentially up to 15 to 20 inches. The Lehigh Valley seeing up to a foot. New York seeing up to six. Philly only an inch, just north of Philly. Just a very narrow, good sloth of a foot plus potential, you guys. I will have another snowfall map tomorrow and another video. Maybe try and make it for tomorrow morning. We will attempt. But if we take a look at previous model runs i mean let's look at 18z yeah like that all right look at 12z further north 6z even further north um 0z of last night like that so today's trends have been a lot more southern and very precise with the nail model I'm probably doing a little overdone but still very very big trends. I am not going to lie with you. It is big, big, big trends. And if you look at the NAM model, absolutely showing it here with that heavy snow transitioning from that heavy rain and really into a bomb out nor'easter. This is probably going to be whiteout conditions near blizzard conditions on your Tuesday morning. One to three inches an hour, maybe even reaching four inches an hour. 
but this is going to be heavy wet snow temperature is going to be a lot colder and if you're looking at that total snowfall in the 10 one ratios i mean the nam 3km has up to about eight plus inches for the lehigh valley allentown new york seeing out to five to six a lot of areas the max area up to maybe 20 inches this is another model um just absolutely crazy because the trends have been so dramatic we just go into the 18z there it is a little bit more further north the 12z a bit further north so the trends has been dramatic and even in the 60s so we go into the 0z all of a sudden you're looking at that big of a difference so we have to stay alert stay on the watch because even if we look at the gfs i mean the 0z raised gfs has a lot of areas seeing up to up to potentially a foot of snow now in the lehigh valley allentown up to maybe a half a foot to a foot New York seeing about six inches, Connecticut a lot more, the Pocono seeing that bullseye. So the bullseye has moved south pretty significantly. And if we take a look at the 18Z, where it was, a little bit more northern, 12Z run, a bit more north, the 6Z run, a bit more north. There it is. So the trend throughout today on all the models have been a dramatic increase with the snowfall and the storm is going to be tomorrow night so and if this trend continues you know this is very big but there it is starting out maybe with some rain turning into snow even into heavy snow again and this bullseye i mean you're looking at potentially 979 anywhere from a 978 to a 982 millibar low <clears throat> with very very strong winds I do have a the first forecast snow um, forecast tonight, um, but probably going to change depending on how the storm continues. All right, so let's go finish up with the rat model, and that is that rest of the model and the total snow accumulations cursor right there. I mean, a lot of areas still seeing nine plus inches. So a very big, big change, and even into the Euro, 18Z has been a bit, big change up to about 9 plus inches. And if we looked at 12Z, a lot more north. So it, it, it's very crazy, but the trend has been a dramatic shift to the south, and a, a alarming one too. And even the ensembles, a lot more southern. And really showing that mean forecast now being a lot more southern, just like in the Poconos, max area. Up to a foot to maybe closing in on two feet of snow is possible. I think that's a little overdone, but this storm could really do the unthinkable. And right now, it is really proving a lot than previous thought. Even the mezzo scales um, in the Canadian. I don't know about the Canadian. I haven't even looked at the Canadian, but probably has shifted. Yeah, pretty nasty too. Southern too, with that whole low being a lot more southern. So right now, if this plays like this, blizzard conditions. I mean, look at that. A little bit more southern, enough with the wind, enough with the snow. And very crazy. I mean, you look at the total snow, once again, bullseye, boom. I mean, New York really can get under the bullseye now if this continues to show. Tomorrow, this will really depend. All right. Some of the mezzo scales, even more snow than what it's, than any other model. Like the FV3 high res. I mean, just a bomb out nor'easter by all means heavy snow strong winds and i mean not just this model too look at the wharfs um more mezzo scale models i mean showing just dumpings of snow dumpings of snow on your two monday nights so if this continues to happen this will be a, a very big change in a story all right we look at the wharf too there's another strong model. Boom. Heavy snow. 
a lot more of that transition and a lot more of that southerly look. And probably with some very strong winds and blizzard conditions. This could be the biggest storm of the whole season. Right now, this is looking like probably the biggest storm in years. And you're looking at the zero Z, I mean, absolutely even heavier. I mean, you're looking at that heavy snow. You're really looking at those purples. I mean, very heavy snow for quite a few hours. And if you're looking at the snow total snowfall now on the RGM, you're looking at a good foot plus. I mean, look how southern the trend has turned. It is really crazy how south this has trended. And tomorrow, this is going to be, you know, tomorrow is going to be the day. Probably by tomorrow night, we will know. But right now, if this continues to show winter storm warnings to be moved south and potentially 6 to 12 inches, I would not be surprised. Maybe um, they do 8 to 12. I wouldn't be surprised. But if this trend continues, we're going to be in for a huge winter storm. And even for me, and I'm very excited because I'm a winter lover. And you know, I'm hoping for the snow to just stay like this. I mean, this is perfect. But look at the wind, too. Very strong winds out of this. Damaging winds, actually. But we're looking at this hour at this time. There's, like, the end of the snowstorm. But we'll have to keep a track. Um, we're looking at my snowfall forecast, I think, right now for Philly. In that light blue, at least an inch. Inch or two. In the next shading of blue, one to three, I think New York is in that. Right now, I actually put New York for three to five inches, even for Allentown. And then I have that pink for um, about four to eight inches. All right, four to eight inches in just Allentown on north in this very slither point. Even just north of New York, New York is right on the line with that three to five. This could move even a little bit more tuck south i'll have to see but then once you get over that poconos area that red you're looking at eight plus all right eight plus inches of snow all right that's my newly um first outlook and i'll probably have a tweaked one tomorrow night and that will be my final forecast so We'll have to, you know, keep a look and um, just quickly, let's look at the WPC snow probabilities. They might have updated. I do not know. They might have not, but we'll definitely get a lot more information tomorrow night. But um, even my local news been realizing on the models. and it, You know, it, it's definitely a exciting change if this continues to show. But, I mean, look at that for just one inch. We'll have to see. All right. For that one inch, I mean, I think this is a little bit more southern. I think that at this point, one inch is very likely. Um, six inches. Let's see. No, they haven't updated it. Um, oh, 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 one last thing. I am very sorry, but let's take a look at the models. We're going to take a look at the sheriffs. The sheriffs is at its 21Z. It ain't ready yet, but tomorrow we'll look at this. But I would like to say, if we look at the trend of all the averages of the models, has gone up like crazy. Um, we go to regional, we click on northeast, and then we go to total snowfall. Um, total snowfall mean. Boom. A lot more so. I mean, you look at the average six line now being all the way down to Allentown. That's just for an average. Um, New York, five inches. Daily, two to three inches. But look at that bullseye. Up to maybe 12 inches of snow on average. 
So this is probably going to be the biggest snowstorm of the season. And we'll have to keep keep a look at it because the trends have been dramatic. So that will probably wrap it up. See you guys in tomorrow morning's video. I'm going to try and make one tomorrow morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. Three videos tomorrow. And then if this is going to be a big one, maybe I'll make a short or um, video on the conditions. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.